more crime alert coming out of Southeast Shelby County. A string of armed robberies under investigation tonight, leaving a community rattled. Our WREG's Jordan James joins us live with the latest on the investigation. And Jordan, what have you found out? Hey, Stephanie, the people believed to be responsible for these armed robberies have not been captured, and that has many folks in this community on edge. Tonight, safety concerns linger across southeast Shelby County. You can't escape it. After a string of armed robberies. And less than one hour Tuesday, five people were robbed in their driveways, including a couple along Wimberley Drive. They told officers the two men approached them with their guns drawn and demanded valuables. The couple complied and the thieves left, but the impact is being felt across the neighborhood. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, as a matter of fact, we got the, uh, the neighborhood uh, uh, program going on with the on the internet and, and everyone is talking about it still. The Shelby County Sheriff's Department believes the robberies may be connected. In each incident, the robbers were armed with multiple weapons and seen driving away in what is believed to be a black Kia. The thieves also reportedly used threatening language during the encounters, telling one of the victims, give me all of your money or I'll kill you. We spoke with a man who doesn't want to be identified that lives near where one of the robberies took place, and he believes that the Shelby County Sheriff needs to increase patrol. The only time you see them is when you call for an emergency. Uh, very, very seldom do you see the patrol himself was going through the neighborhood. As the search continues for those responsible, neighbors say this just goes to show you cannot let your guard down. Regardless of where you are, even in your driveway, you have to be careful. And the Shelby County Sheriff's Department tells me since Tuesday's armed robbery, there have not been any reports of any more robberies in this neighborhood. However, they still are searching for the men responsible. If you know anything, give them a call. Reporting here live in Southeast Shelby County, Jordan James, WREG News Channel 3.